Hello everyone and welcome back to Half Elite. Today I'm going to be telling you my thoughts on the Real Heroes 400 at Darlington. The race that just finished, uh, probably going to be about an hour ago once I finish editing this. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, Kevin Harvick, your winner. So, um, apparently that was his 50th win of his career, so uh, congratulations for him. I think they had said uh, he's the 27th uh, NASCAR driver to get 50 wins in his career. Um... And apparently this is his second win at Darlington. And they get, they throw out an interesting fact. He's the only driver this season to have finished in the top ten in every single race. Which, um, I'll tell you, this is a nice way to extend the streak. Second place was Alex Bowman. Um, very nice job for him. Uh, he was up in the, he was up there kind of pretty much the whole day. Uh, just kind of running around in the top five or so. And then kind of got it together at the end. Uh. Third place, Kurt Busch. Uh, wasn't up there for as long. Uh, just kind of hanging back in the top uh, 15 or so. And then at the end, got some good pit stops in. Got some strategy going in. Um, took third. Um, fourth place, Chase Elliott. Um, my favorite driver. I don't know if you guys know that. But my favorite NASCAR driver, Chase Elliott. Um, he had actually gotten a penalty earlier in the race. Uh, pit speeding penalty, and still was able to climb his way back up to fourth. Uh, he was in the top ten most of the day until that pit penalty. I guess not most of the day. He was in the top ten until that pit penalty, and then kind of slowly worked his way back up and finished fourth. Fifth place um, was Denny Hamlin, I think. I'm going to check this. If that's wrong, I will cut that out. Um, but, yeah, he was... Kind of around the top 10, probably 6th to 10th place, um, a lot of the race. And then got up a little bit at the end. 6th place was Martin Turex Jr., kind of a guy that, for most of the race, almost didn't seem like he was kind of in the hunt. He was kind of just down, like, bouncing around in random positions. He wasn't really near the front. And then all of a sudden, uh, probably about 50 laps to go or so, he just found his way up there and he just like was, was it was kind of interesting because he just he wasn't a factor all day and then all of a sudden he's up in the lead group fell back a little bit to p6 but still a nice job for him seventh place was tyler reddick um yeah he he was kind of interesting they had talked about similar thing had happened to him at phoenix or at least he had been up near the front most of the day and then i guess it didn't end the same way he actually finished this race instead of um wrecking out so good job for him obviously a rookie his first time at darlington didn't have any major incidents finished seventh eighth place eric jones um yeah he he had been in the top five on that last restart and then because he had like he had some type of vibration he had to drop back and uh kyle bush actually i think eric jones restarted six kyle bush was fifth he had ended up Having a vibration that was bad enough, they came in, changed four tires, and got got him back out. But, yeah, that took him out of the running. He finished a lap down, but he was in uh, 10 to 15 range again most of, the, most of the race. Got up there at the end, and then uh, on the last restart, just had to come back in and pit. Just stinks for him. Uh, ninth place, John Hunter Nemechek. Not a name I was expecting to say. Um, but yeah, in Front Row Motorsports, I think. Yeah, I'm stupid. Front Row Motorsports Equipment. He goes through and finishes ninth. Um, tenth place was Matt Kenseth. That is big. Um, obviously, he had been replacing Kyle Larson for uh, the racial slur that he dropped. Uh, that we're not going to talk about here because... YouTube and demonetization and just general things that I don't say. Um, but yeah, the racial slur that Kyle Larson um, said, uh, they hired Matt Kenseth to replace him. And I know this story's been out for a while, but apparently they were originally going to have Carl Edwards replace him, and then he politely declined. Um, yeah. So Matt Kenseth was the next option. Apparently Ross Chastain is nowhere in there. I, I think that they're planning for him to be the guy to take that seat next year. 
Because the problem with Larson is he's a good driver. I think if he... I think now that he's gone through the stuff, I think he should be reinstated and stuff. And I think he kind of... He at least deserves a spot. Sure, he needs some type of punishment. And, I mean, he hasn't really missed anything other than, like, having to go through sensitivity training or whatever. Like, I, I think... I think sometime a few years down the road... Um, he might deserve a spot, maybe in the one car or something for Ganassi. But, to be honest, in this world of cancel culture and whatever, like, probably not gonna get that. Um, anyways, so that's your top ten. Um, storylines throughout the race. Brad Keselowski was on the pole. Uh, he had fallen back. He was still riding around the top five. Gotten back up to the lead, and then on the last set of pit stops, he fell back a little bit, and something was wrong with his car, and he just plummeted at the end. Um, Jimmy Johnson, uh, he had been in the top five most of the first stage, and at the end, he got up there, passed for the lead, and was leading until the final lap of stage one, and then got, and then, um, him and Chris Busher were in an incident off of turn two, um, he kind of came up into him, he bumped Busher, Busher bumped into the wall, kicking him down, I don't really think I could put any fault on it, other than maybe Jimmy could have been a little less aggressive around another car but i mean it's the last lap of a stage you should be a little less aggressive you know there's a caution in two turns um uh william byron similar incident for him except for uh he had, he he was second in stage one um or no he won stage he he was second until johnson wrecked out then he won stage one and then about 15 or so laps later he uh yeah he got turned i don't know well I don't think he really, he turned by himself, um, yeah, uh, getting a caution called, uh, yeah, funny, uh, another funny story was Ricky Stenhouse, I had posted a meme about this a little earlier during the race, but, um, yeah, dude, Stenhouse, get it together, um, clearly the move to JTG Doherty has not made it any better, you managed to wreck on lap one, um, but yeah, to all the sports fans out there, just, just general sports fans, uh, that is Ricky Stenhouse. He sucks. Um, yeah. So, Ryan Newman in his first race back was about 15th. Um, he had gotten up into the top 10, and then uh, he had gotten the pit road speeding penalty also with Chase Elliott. He was not able to co- recover from that as well. He would actually uh, spun around with about... He was the last caution with about 35 to go. He had spun around, got the car... Saved though no damage, but by the by that time he's spinning on the inside. They NASCAR called a caution. They kind of just they kind of had to. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, the your finishing the finishing position from these races, uh, determines the starting order for the next race. Um, this uh, Wednesday at seven o'clock p.m. on FS1. Uh, the Darlington 500K, so 311 miles, 500 kilometers, I cannot mental math how many laps, how long even is Darlington, it's weird numbers, it's like 1.3 miles or something, that track in general is weird, I think they had tried to make it a mile and a half, (laughs) and, uh, the lake over near 1 and 2? one of the corners i don't know darlington well just in case you're wondering i don't um but yeah anyways uh rating this race on a scale of one to 100 it's kind of like eric Step's groovy gate for the nascar races um but yeah i'd give this race a solid 75 um yeah for being the first race back from this whole um uh what do i call this Corona, no, didn't say it, uh, what should I call this, Voldemort, yep, there we go, um, yeah, from this, from the whole, uh, 71 day, 10 week, uh, hiatus that they were talking about for, uh, Voldemort, yeah, um, it's a pretty good race for being the first live sports back, other than WWE, but WWE is different. All they need is like a couple of cameramen and then two guys punching each other. I don't know. I'm again, I'm not a big fan of the WWE. Um but yeah. 
anyways, um, yeah, iRacing video will be coming on Monday, but it's gonna be a little later. I don't even know if it's gonna be a street stock race or an IndyCar race. It's just gonna be the first one that comes up. Um, it'll either be street stock at South Boston, which I've practiced with, and gosh dang it, it's hard to run. Or it will be IndyCar at Indianapolis. I know that's boring, but it's a shorter race, and I assume there's fast repairs. And I assume that there won't be as many people in the race, so less full field, or less 30 car pile ups or whatever the like people fix damage from. And I just managed to be the one person that comes in late that has no ability to avoid a crash. Gosh dang it. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, I think I will be doing a review on the, the race on Wednesday, but uh, we don't have FS1, so I'm going to have to watch highlight reels or Rex or something. I don't know. Um, I, I wish we did. Uh, we've actually talked about um, the possibility of getting this. Um, apparently, AT&T or whatever has some type of, like, TV, like, AT&T TV, similar to YouTube TV, so we could do, we could just have normal, like, FS1 and NBC Sports and the regular Fox and NBC, so I can watch NASCAR races, hopefully, if we end up doing that, we don't know yet, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, this has been Half Elite signing off, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video, next video is actually going to be well, what I just said a couple minutes ago. I said actually because I was looking at my watch trying to figure out what time is this. Is going to, is this going to be released around the time of the air racing video? But nope, that's already out. <laughs> Six o'clock. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Bye.